Right now, I'm going to the Pierre Hotel for the Fashion Group International's 14th annual Night of Stars. And this year, the theme is Masters of Design. Everyone's going to be there from the worlds of fashion, art, beauty, you name it. They're there. And so are we. I love my taxi. This is my limousine, my chariot of love. And I also love Moetje and Don't. I never go anywhere without it, and neither should you. We're on our way. Pierre Hotel. I love men with a lot of equipment. This is my sound man. I love my sound man. Look at this. This is actually all my makeup. Just for one day, actually. It's all about cosmetics. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, good evening. Guest or press? Right this way, through that door. This is a very star-studded and incredible event. First of all, how did you get all these people to come? I think Fashion Group has got a great reputation around the world. They know the work that we do in fashion trend reporting and business symposiums. Most of the designers that we've approached have already been to America and been at our events before, so they were very thrilled to be able to accept these awards from us. Hey, let, wait, you let guys in. This is the first year that there's men allowed. First year, and it is definitely a celebration after 67 years. Mrs. Roosevelt was our founding uh, member. We finally agreed to let guys into the fashion group, and many of the men that are here tonight have already joined. Excellent. And I'm going to go talk to some of these guys, because we love men. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Why are you here this evening? I know you support the fashion group. Well, this is a momentous night. I don't know if you know, but after 65 years, the fashion group is inviting men to join for the first time. And uh, since Karl Lagerfeld is one of the honorees as the superstar, how could I not be here? Well, he's brought back the house of Chanel from something that was a little dowdy to something extremely stylish. Well, you know, he's one of the few people in the world that could have done that. Mm -hmm. He's a genius because he can take everything from the past but move it into the future. And uh, he's done a brilliant job. He's made it young and fresh and uh, it's just become ageless in the most positive sense. Peter Marino, I'm very excited for you. You're winning an award. How excited are you? Um, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled having 20 years of architecture with all these fashion people. I think it's really cool that they give me this award. What if a client doesn't like something? Do you kind of go with their wishes or like, you got to take it? Uh, 20 years ago, I went with their wishes. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, you're powerful. Now that you're winning this award, what, what do you think awards do for one's career? Because I know CFDA always gives out awards, and it seems to help your winner's career. I think they help your business, number one. I think they keep you in front of the public. I think, I think that you, if you don't take advantage of awards, you don't take advantage of your business. These are like the Chanelettes here. Susan Duffy, Coco Koppelman, we met Mr. Koppelman and Barbara Serkva. Okay, well I haven't spoken to you three, so what do you think about this award that Carl is winning tonight? Well deserved, we know that. He's a star, he's a genius. I mean, that's why we're all here. Today it seems like fashion and beauty and the home are all one. Don't you I mean men are wearing makeup now? Well, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts, and Chanel is one of the only houses that can offer tip-to-toe dressing, so we love it. Barbara, are you wearing Chanel? This must be Chanel. I wouldn't be caught any place without Chanel on. <laughs> he never stops working. 
never ever stops working. He arrived yesterday morning at 8.30 on the, on the Concord. By 10.30, 10.45, he was at Larry King Live doing a live taping. He had appointments all afternoon and he went to a dinner last night with that Ingrid Sishi had arranged for 40 people. He met a lot of fabulous people, artists, designers and whatever downtown. It was, and that was a normal day. Hey, how are you? You seem to have your finger on the pulse of exactly what's happening at the right moment. Like you change from one season to the next, but you always get it right. How do you do that? I'm bored, I'm bored easily, and I like uh, uh, in fashion the change of fashion. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's why, huh? Mm -hmm. well, fashion changes so fast, especially what women wear. How do we decide? Long, short, pants, dresses. Length, that's not the problem anymore. Now the problem is the expression, the mood, the atmosphere, the way they, they, they wear, the make up, but it was matches the personality. What looks great on you would be ridiculous on somebody else mm. because you have the body, the attitude, the spirit, the, the, the quick uh, mind to do it. Uh, if not, it, other girls in the room dressed like you would be ridiculous. Mm. On you, it's just beautiful. Well, thank you. I have a good question. What's the biggest mistake women make when they buy a dress? Not, this is a tough one. Not to look in the mirror and being objective. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? It's hard because you look at a magazine, you see Vogue, you see Linda Evangelis and all these gorgeous models you came in with. We're never going to look like that. The average woman well, can never... you're not that far away from well, that. Well, thank you. We love him. <laughs> exactly. But exactly. love him. But most women can't do that. Yes, so how, I mean, how... They buy the dream. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's what everybody says. And you know, knows. also, life is not a beauty contest. Huh? I think it is. No, it's not. And we're winners, baby. Yeah, are, Me and Carl are a winner. You're a winner, but thank God there are more important things than that, and you have a little more to offer than only your beauty. Yeah? Thank you very much. I love him. He's so sweet. You're so thank sweet you. all the time. But you are nice, too. Thank so you. Difficult. I would Powerful love to be nasty to you, but I don't know oh, how. No, 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 you wouldn't. But you can, because I can give it right back to you. Yeah, you can. <laughs> somebody said once, we never ask a nasty question, you can get a nasty answer, huh? You're sweet, though. Thank anyway, thank you very much. There's a whole bunch of crews yeah, waiting for you. you. There's a line for Carl around the corner. He's always putting himself into a new position and a new way of thinking, a new way of treating fashion. He doesn't accept something which has been told or designed, so he's trying to renew everything, his own design every time he does a, a new collection. Well, he seems to just get it right all the time. Right, because, you know, he's experimenting, uh, he doesn't, uh, everything is not granted. Uh, is it the right word? Mm -hmm. Uh, he's trying, you know, to, to renew, to redo things which are not done, and he doesn't accept the easiness mm -hmm. in fashion. Well, I saw the windows of Chanel, which was mm -hmm. so fabulous, a big picture of him and a big congratulation. We are very pleased at Chanel to have him uh, doing these successful collections every year and every year. Mm -hmm. He must have, like, hundreds of awards just lined up <laughs> on the wall. Yes. Someone has to dust them. Who dusts his awards? Uh, not me. Not you. No, 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 no. I never would suggest that. No, nope. I'll come and do that. All can right. I have that job? Yes. The Chanel can. Award Duster. Can I, I right. need to do that. Okay. Let's do okay, thank Let's you. <laughs>do you like working with him? Yeah, he's wonderful. He's one of the most magical people in the industry. He's a really wonderful person. Well, he seems to just get it right all the time. He's like a genius. Yes, he is definitely a genius. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Linda. Model, supermodel alert. <laughs> yeah, Are you also in love with Carl? Everyone's in love with Carl. He's, he's a man. Why is he such a genius? Why does he make women look so good? Because he loves them. <laughs> he loves women. He loves what he does. He loves to work. Um, he's so generous. I mean, in when you love what you do, it makes you even better at it. And when you have passion for something, you just excel. So I think that's definitely the saying hello to you. But he is multi, multi talented. I mean, besides designing yeah, and being a great. Illustrator yeah. and decorator yeah. and photographer. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, the, the man is multi talented. Doesn't stop. Doesn't stop. Well, wow. He, you girls love him. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the Carl yeah. Fan Club. Okay. Thanks, girls. Many years ago, when I was dreaming of becoming a fashion model, I had the pages of Vogue plastered all over my bedroom walls. After three years of working in France with a little struggle 
and some hope, I finally got booked on an American Vogue cover, although I shared it with another model. That's okay, I, I appeared on the cover. <laughs> That's okay. My dream had finally come true. When it comes to fashion, Vogue is the Bible. The cover of Vogue is the holy grail for all aspiring models. This year, the fashion group International has decided to honor men. It is particularly appropriate that Condé Nast Stargazer Award for Excellence in the Design is being accepted by one of the most manly men in the magazine business, the company's president and CEO, my buddy, Steve Florio. <laughs> When we do a fashion story about a designer in the pages of Vogue or Glamour or GQ, it's nice to know that the fashion industry recognizes that level of excellence and, uh, and gives us an award like this. It's a nice reaffirmation. It's great to have your peers acknowledge you in a very special way. I mean, we all want to be just loved. It's, a, it's just a moment of love, and the world needs that. Look at you, you look fabulous. Thank you, doll. We look good together. Vintage. I love it. It's and not this vintage. Is... The Galliano. This it's is vintage, vintage couture. Oh, he's so vicious. It's only a couple years old. But this vintage, Ooh, darling. It is vintage. OK, OK. Can I ask you a couple questions? I wanted that dress. You got that dress. I'm so jealous. It's fabulous. Galliano. Yes. And you look amazing in it. Thank you. I love it. So today is a major day, like everybody's here. Why is this award ceremony so special? Why are awards so special in general? Why are awards so special? Well, everybody likes to be honored, you know, when people work hard and, and uh, they really take their work seriously and it's basically, you know, their life. It's, uh, it's important to honor them. Peter Marino, for me, is the quintessential master of de decorative arts. Over the past two decades, Peter has created important showcase places for Armani, Chanel, Dior, Donna Karen, Saint Laurent, Vuitton, many others. And in each of these, and in each of these projects, Peter has set a, set a new standard of achievement. I am deeply honored to be among the first male recipients of the Fashion Group International Award. I'm even more honored that this esteemed group has seen fit to bestow the award on an architect, demonstrating how inextricably linked architecture and fashion have become within that wider realm of style, art, and culture. How does it feel? Wonderful. I just had an award presented by Stephanie Seymour. <laughs> Is that the highlight of your life, your day? Your... Um, it's, the, it's a highlight of a 20-year career. <laughs> Jeff Brunt presenting? Yes, because I, I really respect Peter, and I feel very close to him, so I was honored to give him this award, and he deserves it. Congratulations. And have a good time. That was a very... I always say that, you know, there is a lot of other very talented designers in many other places. But the one thing that makes Paris so special is the artisans, the people who really have this extraordinary sense of quality. And I don't think that there is anyone that exemplifies more the sense of quality than Francois Lesage. Francois Lesage, so are you excited about your award tonight? Well, it's, no, it's a fact it's been recognized by the fashion group of the American fashion group and international fashion group. And uh, for me what's important is that uh, it's my handicraft, these people, my team, my folks, my workers, uh, it's recognized through me. How important do you think award shows and awards are these days to be in business? I, th I think it's important because you know your peers see that you've been recognized, the people with the money see you've been recognized. I think it's very important. You've won some CFDA awards yourself. Has it helped your business? Definitely, yeah. It, it puts you on a different level. Today, we honor one of England's most talented young men, John Galliano. He was named British Designer of the Year in 1995 for the third time. More recently, he designed couture clothes for Givenchy and now the House of Dior. I'm so upset that Galliano is not He's here better, today. Yeah, here is his necklace, here is his dress. <laughs> but I will bring the award to him tomorrow. 
Was he very excited to receive it? Yes, he was, you know, and he was very excited and very honored, you know. He will certainly, if he had been here, he will have been blushing like a, you know, a schoolboy, you know, John. I see models. Hey, it's a model alert. Ladies, ladies, you both look fabulous. Thank you. So what do you think of your boss? He is just an amazing genius, Karl Lagerfeld. That goes without that, saying. Exactly. That's all you can say, a genius. So that's it, really, you know? It's got a gift of imagination, so that's the main thing, I think. But also velocity. I mean, exactly. the speed of a Porsche. Shoes, dresses, he does, like, everything. He oversees everything. And then he's on to the next collection the minute he's achieved one. He treats everything as precious exactly. and real exactly. and valid and vivid and that's a rare gift. So you work with him every day? No. Almost every day? No. How <laughs> often do you work with him? <laughs> at the moment it's running at about two days a week but a lot of communication through the airwaves but before a show two weeks. He's fun to work with. Fun, demanding, testing. Yes, extraordinary. Extraordinary. You know, you can't beat an experience with him. Inspirational. You've done the most. You know, you've done. Inspirational is the word for it. You do the most inspirational things with him. You know, you just get it like that. You guys look amazing. Get these fabulous outfits. I need that. I think we need to like switch. I love those <laughs> shoes. What season is this from? The couture. Oh, I hate you, couture. That would probably be a billion dollars. Yep. Well, they're unaffordable for me, but, you know. Maybe not the shoes, maybe, maybe not. not. no. Well, the shoes, would, I guess they are couture shoes. I didn't even know. I never even thought about that. Is that such well, a thing? No, 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 the shoes are not made to the girl's foot by hand. No, so, no, right. they wouldn't be. Oh, so maybe I can buy those. Yeah, maybe. Okay, well, I'm going to mug her later outside. She's going home barefoot because I'm getting those shoes. Because <laughs> I know she's my size. I can tell. <laughs> Thanks, girls. Thank I saw your work outside. That car was so beautiful. Uh, old car designers are uh, inspired by fashion designers. The uh, Fashion Group International has so far never looked at um, car companies and their design. So we're extremely honored uh, that our work over the last 50 years has been looked upon as uh, good design. On behalf of Porsche's top management, engineers, and my team of designers who enabled me to create these cars, I thank the Fashion Group International for acknowledging these achievements. Thank you very, very much. How did you get hooked up with Fashion Group? They just asked me to present, um, you know, for the presenters to sort of be the mistress of the ceremony. So I said, why not? How important do you think that these awards or awards are in general for design? I don't think awards are ever important for anything. It just gives everybody a nice chance to dress up wow. and honor people. I mean, all the people that were honored tonight, I think, are, you know, really worthy of it. I was asked a question today, as most designers are constantly being interviewed. Do you consider yourself an artist? And I said, no, I'm a designer. And then I thought about the question and the man I was about to introduce tonight. The man I'm about to introduce is an artist. It is with great pleasure and great honor that I've been asked to, uh, to give the award to Mr. Yoji Yamamoto. I have, in my life, very sp special and intimate friend. And I remember when she, Mrs. Rei Kawakubo, communication designer, received this award. The strongest impression I felt then was that if I were a woman, I could also have this. It's taken 10 years. <laughs> And I'm indeed, I'm receiving my own one today. That was long 10 years. <laughs> Yoji Yamamoto, I am so excited that you're here. Are you excited? A little scared. No, why would you be scared? <laughs> Surrounded by so many, so many women. 
Why do you think this award is so important? Or why are awards in general important to the fashion community? You cannot put the, the rank. It, it, it's very hard to, 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 make, to put numbers on, on creators, number one, number two, number mm -hmm. three. It's very hard because a creation or, 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 or explanation is, is, it has its own value. Mm -hmm. mm. And the value is very different. So it's very hard to, to, to make all those. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the total general mood on on certain season mm -hmm. are very very much amount of people like something. I I I, I say it is it's trend or it's mood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you maybe Moody is giving me a word. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The Moody is giving you the word. What do you do for fun? Like when you want to have a good time, where do you go? Oh, like what do you like for fun? Parties, you know? I hate parties. He hates parties? Why? Because uh, I'm a bit shy. Congratulations! Yeah. How excited! Let me see. So, Donna, is this a man that inspires you? Constantly. Constantly. When he talks about jealousy of wanting to receive an award, I'm jealous every time I see his designs. You should collaborate on something together, maybe. That would be something I would love more than anything. Congratulations! Thank you. What are you congratulating me on? You're presenting. I am presenting, so but I'm, I didn't get any award. Hey, it's good. It's as good to be a presenter I'm as it is I'm giving the a superstar award. Mr. Lagerfeld isn't just a star, he's a superstar, they told me today. So I'm very happy to present superstar Carl Lagerfeld with this award. Why do you think awards are so important to one's career? I don't know if this is an important award to Carl because he's pretty much up there now. He doesn't really need awards, but it's so. I think it's always nice to have somebody recognize a group like this, the fashion group, recognize your talent and your hard work. So I think it's always nice to get an award. I would love to get an award. No one ever gives yeah. me one. Well, um, I'll nominate you next season. I'm not a part of the group, but I can join. I can Please do that. Nominate. I'm gonna. I'm and gonna do that. And then you can present it to me. Uh, excellent. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Where I work, we have dubbed Mr. Lagerfeld Kaiser Carl. And it's not just because it makes for a fun headline. For Carl is truly an emperor of our age. Cultured, witty, distinguished, and capable of completely changing at his whim our whole notion of beauty and style. Since 1956, when he started as an assistant to Pierre Balmain, Carl Lagerfeld has been a star, a superstar, who has dazzled the world with his talent, imagination, and energy. He single-handedly saved the Paris Couture when it was at its lowest ebb, and he is without doubt one of the most envied and copied designers who has ever lived. As has been pointed out many times in the past, Carl is also the busiest man in fashion, leading not only his own house, but the house of Fendi and Chanel as well. And he does it all with a grace and charm and a humor that is rare in this business of enormous egos. It's my pleasure to present this Superstar Award to Mr. Carl Lagerfeld. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm very pleased and honored to get this little award, but it's not little at all, it's a beautiful big star. And uh, uh, I was blushing when I heard what Patrick said and what all the other people said, so I will make it very short. But I want to say thank you to two companies who helped me to express what I wanted to express in fashion, that means the House of Chanel and the House of Fendi and the Fendi Sisters and the, and the Wertheimer family, because without them, I wouldn't be here tonight, I think more than the other one. And this is for me the most important thing. 
you have won umpteen awards. Is it still as special to you to win? It's always special, you know, it's like, always like a new collection. It's not because what you've got in the past was important, that what you've got, you're getting in the present. Huh? Mm -hmm. So you never look really past, you're no, always no, no. looking at tomorrow. I like the past of other things, other people, other wor people's work. My own work is finished the minute it's shown, and I like to start like a beginner at point zero, mm -hmm. and future for me is in six months, and that's mm -hmm. all. You know, at all these parties, we always get these amazing booty bags, and I want to see what's in mine. So let's open it up and check it out, because there's always good stuff that's really useful. Let's see. All right. Ooh, T-shirt. Love that. Ribbon. Oh, a little purse that actually matches my outfit. Wow, cool. Good dive of chocolate, my favorite. This bag is like endless. I'm gonna be here till like next week, guys. Donna Karen, whoa, I should have asked her about her, her knee highs. Ooh, they do jewelry. Hope it's some good like jewels. <gasps> Yoji Yamamoto, oh, the toilet, I love that. Peace, tea. I need some of this, calm me down. I can't believe this bag, it's endless. Hanes. Oh, Donna Karen has some competition with her knee highs, ooh. And last but not least, Revlon Top Speed Nail Color. You know, this is for girl on the go, because I'm always on the go, and my nails take forever to dry, so hey, Revlon, all right. Well, there you have it. A very extensive booty bag, and I'm gonna go home and use all these products. Come here. Hey, actor, producer, does it all, model, you're everywhere. What's going on? Just working hard. God, wasn't it, wasn't it fun tonight? It's kind of amazing with all these incredible people. Why is everyone so supportive of the fashion community? You're Hollywood. What's, what's the deal? Why is fashion so major now? Uh, probably because uh, some very bright, clever, interesting people work in fashion. Uh, I've never met anybody in the movie business as bright as people like uh, Steven Meisel and Anna Sui. So uh, I'm much more comfortable at a at a party like tonight's party than I am uh, going to uh, some corny movie premiere. I hear you. Who are you wearing tonight? Let's see. Model for I'm wearing Anna Sui. Anna Sui. I love it. This here's Anna Sui, designer extraordinaire. Who? Hello. Now you design. Yes. Hey, Anna, yes. you design yes. this yes. divine outfit. Yes. Thank you. Yes. But he's a divine guy. Are you going to be in one of his movies? Yes, absolutely. Excellent. Yes. How about me? Okay, you heard it. I think it's really amazing now that fashion and style are global. Well, I think it's just the media has made everything like into one. Like everything is so immediate. Everyone knows the same news all the time. So it's it's changing. Everything's you think, changing. You think that's a good thing? Um, I miss the separation of being able to go from city to city and having a, di a different atmosphere, a different style, a different look. I mean, I, I miss that. I just came back from Tokyo and it's uh, filled with um, international designers. You have a really cool store downtown. Do you sell the furniture? Every time I go in there, I want to buy a piece of your furniture. No, but we're working on something like that. You need to do home. I would love to. Thank you. Next thing. Thank you. You can do my home. Okay. The party's over. Boo-hoo. But I'm going to toast this fabulous soiree and show with my favorite beverage, Moet Chandon. Thanks for joining me on Behind the Velvet Ropes, and I will see you next week. Good night.